Hey loves, what's up? Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. So happy to have you here. Today we're going to do a Shein haul. Thank you so much to Shein for partnering with me on this video and they have supplied all of the clothing. We've got lots of fun spooky outfits, spooky items, some spooky outfits, some spooky items, some cute stuff. This is mostly like kind of spooky fashion, Halloween fashion, all black, everything. If you're into it, you're going to like this haul. Um, yeah. Hi Luna. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and jump into this haul. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I upload videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. We do beauty, plus size fashion, food videos, vlogs, stuff like that. If you're into it, you're in the right place. Subscribe. Let's be friends. All right, let's go ahead and do this. All right, love. So usually most of you guys know, but if you're new, I do usually wear a size 20 or 22. Just depends on where it's from. That's just usually what I go with. And I am 5'9", so I am on the taller side. From Shein, I always get a 4X unless something is only available up to a 3X. Like I think the sweater I'm wearing right now might be a 3X, but it totally, it's total, if it's great, if it's great. I will make sure to leave all the sizes down below in the description box. I have learned that it has become more difficult for you guys on mobile to find the description box. So just make sure to look for the little tiny arrow right below <laughs> right below and just click it and it'll give you the whole description box with all the links just so you guys know they're down there for you I know some of the Halloween stuff is already sold out but there's still quite a few good things left uh yeah okay let's really jump in now all right love so the first dress I tried on is this cute little it reminds me of like a little <laughs> spooky doll dress. It is kind of that classic collared dress, but it is done a little bit differently. It does look a little bit more antique, a little bit more spooky, if you will. I really wanted to put this guy in the spooky lookbook, but it just didn't make it. But I am going to go back out and there just wasn't enough time. There were too many outfits and not enough time. So we just kind of went with what we, like what fit each, you know, I just wanted to get a good variety. If you guys didn't know, the Spooky Little Book did drop last Friday. Um, I will be sure to link it down below if you guys want to check it out. But it's just a whole bunch of kind of spooky outfits. A lot are from Shein, so there are a lot of affordable things. But anyway, yeah, I love this little dress. I can't wait to go take some cute little spooky pictures in it. It's definitely a great one if you're looking for it. One of those little collared dresses. Um, this one I feel like is more of a doll dress though, as opposed to like a Wednesday Adams dress. Of course, you can use it for whatever you want. It'll be cute belted. It'll be cute any time of year. Honestly, I'm all about it. A really good length too. It doesn't feel like it's too short or anything. Um, so yeah, I definitely, this one is like a 10 out of 10. I love it. I love it. I mean, I guess it could be slightly nicer, but for the prize girl, it's a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Yes, girl. And then the next dress I tried on is super obvious spooky season. Um, all of these dresses, of course, she and you guys know is super affordable. So this is just a really fun one to get if you want a very festive dress. Of course, you could wear orange and black any time of year if you really wanted to, but I kind of save it for October is when I'm all about the spooky colors. I will wear all black everything any time of year, but like orange and black, personally, like I normally like keep it around this time, but it's so cute. I don't even... You could probably incorporate this easily into some sort of costume, maybe like a spooky jack-o'-lantern or something. I don't know, something cool. But this is a really nice dress. This actually has a little bit of extra room in it. If you were a size 22, 24, something like that, I think you're still gonna be able to easily get into this. It can be on the shoulder or off the shoulder. It stays pretty well on my shoulder, so I just left it there. You can probably see my bra straps, what's new. Yeah, I really like this dress. She's cute. Uh, the next guy I tried on, this guy was actually in the spooky lookbook. This guy is great. It's so gorgeous. It looks so much more expensive than it is. I love the layers of tulle. I think it was done really, really well. It's a little bit loose in my bust area and it like fits pretty well right under my bust. So just keep in mind, if you have a larger bust than I do, I think you're going to be golden. There was definitely a little bit of extra room, but I also feel like it kind of enhances that area. So I felt like my bust looked larger than it is, given I'm wearing a push up always and forever but I really like this dress I think it's really nice um yeah there's not enough good things I can say about it if you're looking for a sassy little party dress a sleeveless one yes I did put this with a fishnet top in the spooky lookbook so you can always layer something underneath it if you're not down with the sleeveless uh yeah I really liked it like that very very pretty all right then oh my goodness you guys this little jacket is so stinking cute they had one with skeletons on it as well but when I placed my order the 4x was out and I wasn't sure and I didn't want to risk it especially it being a jacket and I do have quite large arms so I'm always worried jackets are hard to fit me and this one was so perfect it actually feels like it's got a, like a little bit extra room a little bit oversized if you want to be able to button it I would go ahead and get it your true size but if you want it to be a little bit more cropped and you're never going to button it you could easily go down a size in this one I think um, it's so soft it feels like a super broken in denim jacket 
but it's brand new, which is so nice. I love being comfortable, you guys know that. Very easy to roll up the sleeves, not tight in the arms at all. Uh, it's so cute. I'm gonna keep an eye on the skeleton one. I highly doubt that it's gonna come back into my size because a lot of the Halloween stuff, they'll do kind of like one push, maybe two pushes of it, and then it's gone until next year. And then they usually get new stuff. Sometimes they keep the old stuff, you never know. So when, <laughs> when there's cute Halloween-y fashion on Shein, I just jump on it and grab it. So because they have such a good return policy, if I decide I really don't need it, I can always send it back, which is nice. Even with the Halloween fashion, they still will take it back, which, is amazing. Thank you, Shein. Uh, probably because they know there's plenty of us out there that will love it any time of year and it's gonna sell. <laughs> like, I will always like wear skulls all the whole year, obviously. And then when I did this order, I kind of just grabbed pieces. I didn't put together outfits as much. There are a couple outfits that I do put together in this video, but I kind of was just kind of grabbing Halloween pieces to mix and match with things in my wardrobe. Um, so I did grab this little blazer. I did not realize that it was going to be so stretchy and comfy, which I love. Part of me does wish it was a little bit more structured just because blazers normally are like that. But if you want a super comfy, slightly spooky blazer, given this is an item that you can definitely wear any time of year, it's black and white. It's classic. I love the vertical stripes. I love horizontal stripes too. Some of you guys have been getting at me about the horizontal stripes and girl, life is too short. Who cares? I mean, if you don't want to wear them, don't wear them. It's your life. It's your body. It's your fashion, you know, but if you really want to wear horizontal stripes and you keep telling yourself because of your belly, you can't or something like that, like that's just, mm -mm. we don't do that here. We're wearing the stripes. It's cute. Um, but anyway, sorry, I got a little tangent, you know, wanted to throw that out there. Life's too short. Wear what you want. Um, and if you want to wear spooky stuff any time of year, do it. Uh, but yeah, this is a great little, a little jacket. It's super comfy. I can button it if I want to, which is nice. Um, but I don't know if I would button it. Would you button it? How would you wear this? What would you wear this with? What I'm thinking is like a little black lace cami and some black skinny jeans, maybe like a black distressed skinny jean, or maybe like uh, like a super high-waisted black skinny jean with like the little cami top like tucked in, you know, all black. And then that's what I'm thinking. But let me know your thoughts. What would you wear this little stripe blazer with? All right, the next two items that I tried on is this little skirt. I am, okay, <sighs> this skirt. It's so cute, it's so cute. But I put it on the other night because I was getting ready to go film the spooky lookbook the next day and I had gotten those in the mail and I love the skirt so much. I was like, I gotta try it on, see how it goes. Girl, I got stuck in it, stuck in it. I got out of it, so. <laughs> But when I went to retry it on today, I did not zip it all the way. I can zip it all the way if I would like to. It does make it quite a bit snug. And because of the pleather material, it's really hard to get out of. Um, especially because like there's like the tiniest little zipper. And you know when things are tight and they have like a band, that zipper always gets stuck on like where the band is to the bottom of the skirt. I don't know if that makes sense at all. But like where there's extra fabric gathered, it always gets stuck. So it was really hard to get off. I ended up pulling it off over my head, which is great. But this skirt is so stinking cute. But I do feel like it runs a little bit smaller than a lot of skirts at Shein. Shein's skirts in general, I feel like unless they have stretch, they do run a little bit small. Not always because I do have one in this haul that actually I felt like ran a little bit loose. Um, but that is a common thing. So just keep that in mind, honestly. I hope that they start expanding their sizes because it would be great to be able to get the skirts one size up than what they normally are at because it's just, I mean, I also have a belly and everything like that, but at the same time, like if a dress in a 4X fits me, you would hope that a skirt in a 4X would fit you, you know, but that's not, that's not women's fashion. That's not women's sizing, I guess, you know, life doesn't work like that, but wouldn't it be great? It has gotten so much better. I shouldn't complain. I shouldn't complain. It, it used to be a nightmare and now it's like, you know. Could be much worse. And then this cute as heck little bodysuit. Oh my goodness, it's sparkly and it's got moons and it's got stars and it's darling. Um, the bottom of it is super stretchy. The fit is really great. I'm really excited to wear this with another black skirt. I love this skirt so much, it's such a bummer. Um, yeah, of course, This the, I just had to get this little bodysuit. I think it's so perfect. It's really great with kind of the glitter too because I feel like it's gonna really go into winter well given it's not gonna be like a heavy winter item, obviously, but the kind of fashion of it. You can always, you could wear it easily to like a Christmas party or whatever you're doing. So this is definitely a versatile little bodysuit. And of course you can wear it right now when it's spooky season if you would like, but suns and moons, you know me, year round, all the time, forever. Uh, love this little bodysuit, super comfortable, very cute. I love it. If the skirt was like one inch bigger, literally like just a little bit bigger, it would, oh, 
And then the next little outfit I put together, this little skeleton skirt you guys did see in the spooky lookbook. I love it. This is the one that I feel like has a little bit of extra room. It's honestly rare that she and skirts, when I put them on, that I can super easily like swing them around and unzip them and stuff like that. Usually they're a little bit more often than not, they are a little bit snug. So it is kind of a like hoo, hoo, get in and out of them, which is fine. That doesn't really bother me because it sits like right under my bust most of the time or a little bit lower. As long as they're functionally comfortable, um, that's fine. And a lot of times they are. But this one actually, again, I feel like it runs a little bit big. I did actually get a spider room one that looks just like this. I didn't put it all the way on because I looked at it and there's no way it's going on. When I held it up, it looks like it could be a 2X, maybe a 3X. And I was not gonna get stuck in that skirt today. I'm sorry guys, it's very cute, but it just <laughs> doesn't work, doesn't work. Um, but this skeleton skirt, I absolutely love. So cute. And I did pair it with this top, which I am obsessed with, obsessed with. It is so beautiful. I love black lace more than anything ever. If I had to wear one thing every day of my life, the rest of my life, it'd be, it'd be something with black lace on it. Uh, it's just my vibe. It's just what I feel. I just, I love it. And I love like kind of Victorian looking tops like this. It did have a little button at the back of the neck to you know, fasten the mock neck, but I just didn't do it because of my hands and my arthritis and stuff. I didn't feel like buttoning it. I'm sorry, guys. What's new? I'm sure you're used to it, but I love this little top so much. And it's nice to see something like this that isn't a bodysuit and it is a nice little top that you can easily tuck into skirts or just wear it as it is. Um, so both of these, absolutely love, absolutely, absolutely love. And then I did get another midi skirt. I'm sure you guys are not shocked because I'm obsessed with them lately. And I was so worried because I thought this one was going to come and be like a taupey shade like the last one I got. But I got confused. This one is definitely more of like an orangey shade. And I got that because they feel like it's so fall, so nice and warm. And I really do love this little skirt. The Shein midi skirts like this, there was a black and white polka dot one in my last, um, not polka dot, excuse me, Dalmatian one in my last Shein haul that I'm absolutely obsessed with. I love. It's crazy. If you look back like a year ago, I'd have been like, I don't like midis. I don't like maxis. And right now I'm like, I love a midi. I love a maxi. Give it to me. So easy. I still love a cute little mini. Do not get me wrong. I'm obsessed. Uh, always and forever. But I'm all into the midis now. And they're just so comfortable and easy. And you don't have to wear tights if you don't want to. Um, I mean, no one has to wear tights. So anyway, long story short, love this skirt. This skirt is definitely, definitely a win. And I love it with that little top too. Oh my goodness, you guys, this dress, I almost didn't get it into the haul because it like fell over behind a box. I have so many boxes of clothing. You guys know, by the way, I did just put a whole bunch more stuff on Poshmark with lots more coming. The link's always down below in the description box if you wanna check it out. Um, but I'm so glad that I saw this the last minute because I would have been so bummed if I had forgot to show it to you guys because how cute is this? It is a little bit short, so of course I would wear it with shorts and some opaque tights underneath it, but these sleeves, are gorgeous and I know it's kind of hard to see because it did kept going up on my belly but there is kind of a panel underneath it honestly I would probably always wear it with a black tank top underneath it anyway so I probably wouldn't get the benefit of that little like see-through panel that's supposed to like show just the top of your belly uh but <laughs> these sleeves it's so cute and the lace is like so delicate it's got that eyelash lace on the sleeves and it's just so gorgeous and I can't wait to take some pictures in this one. Oh, I love a bell sleeve I feel like they are so perfect for spooky season. A black lace bell sleeve dress. Like, mm, so cute. This was the first thing in my cart. The first thing that I was like, I need this. And I need it now. I need it now. You know? Totally love this one. It fits really great. I don't think I zipped it all the way. I may not have zipped it all the way, but you guys know how it goes. It's hard to zip things all the way when you're by yourself. Uh, but yeah, I love this dress. All right, now we are on to this sweater, which I'm absolutely obsessed with. I'm pretty sure, not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure it's a 3X because a lot of sweaters on Shein and cardigans, like sweaters and cardigans only go to a 3X. I don't know what that is, but it's cool. I'll of course put the, the size down below just in case. And you'll know if you click the link and there's it's available in a 4X, I'll always get the 4X always and forever, comfort over anything. <laughs> but this was so cute. I thought I would take a, a gamble. And you guys, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. This is the softest sweater I think I've oh, like maybe ever put on. I don't even know if you can tell. This looks so much more expensive than it was. And it actually has extra room. It's actually kind of oversized, which is so nice because <laughs> you know me, if my sweater doesn't fit like one to two sizes too big, I'm not wearing it. Just what it is. I just, I need that comfort in a sweater. That's the whole point of it. And it's been so chilly here, guys. We're already in the 50s. Oh, it just breaks my 
fall is already like fall is literally two minutes here. We had like what two weeks of 70 degrees like around there but then it would like go to 80 and now it like drops to 60, 55. <sighs> Pacific Northwest life you guys what is that about at least i get to wear the sweater and they had some other cute sweaters she always has really great sweaters and cardigans so i'm excited about it this this is definitely the item in the haul that i'm gonna get the most use out of i do love that last dress and a lot of the a lot of the items in this haul are so stinking cute but as far as functionality and what i'm gonna get the most use out of definitely the sweater it's perfect 11 out of 10 <laughs> i'm so excited <laughs> have a black spooky sweater that's like super comfy. Ugh, I'm loving it. And so I did just put on that black skirt again because I didn't have any bottom really to go with this. Uh, I think that was my original plan. And then the next couple things that I did try on, I did try on with the skirt again, which is unzipped. So it probably looks crazy in the back. Don't mind it. You guys, you, you get the general consensus of what things look like, even if the zipper is kind of crazy back there. This little t-shirt, so cute they have so many different ones like there's some with skeleton hands that are like doing you know the rock on symbol and like so many cute things they have so many cute spooky t-shirts and they're so cheap a lot of the t-shirts are like seven dollars nine dollars twelve dollars so nicely priced this is kind of that shiny material so it's not quite t-shirt material that i expected it to be but honestly coming from shein or another affordable website, I'm kind of used to that happening and I don't really mind it at all anymore. Super comfy. Yeah, this is adorable. Not to like speed past that, but it's a basic t-shirt. There's not too much you can really say about a t-shirt. If it's comfy, it's cute. It's nice length. I really like it. Um, it's a good one. And then I tried on this orange sweater. How cute is this? This again, I don't know if it's 3X or 4X, but I'll leave it down below in the description box. Yeah, I love this sweater. I love the length on it. It's so cute. In this spooky lookbook, I had used a um, a black and orange striped sweater from Hot Topic, which is completely sold out. But I feel like you could get kind of the same vibe pairing it, this bright orange sweater with black or anything like that. It's still kind of spooky-esque and works. But you can also, of course, wear this cardigan any other time of year. And it's great for all of fall. A lot of you guys are just getting into fall or still have a lot of fall left. Yeah, it just, why does fall go so fast? All the time, huh? It goes too fast. We're cold. We turned on the heater yesterday. We got the heated blanket out. Like we'd be freezing over here. But love the cardigan. Love the t-shirt. Both of those are so stinking. This next item is the one fall thing that did end up coming. I had a couple shackets, I think, on my list of like items that I wanted to check out, but they must have sold out in my size, which I'm not surprised. They were so cute. So our next Shein haul will definitely be a lot more fall, obviously. But I just had to get this little, this little flannel hooded goodness. I love these so much. They're always so comfy and I love being able to have a hood because I love wearing flannels a lot, especially in fall. I think they're just perfect. They're lightweight, but they add a little bit of extra warmth. They're another layer. I love layering, <laughs> but I love when they have a hood. There's just something about it that just makes me want to wear it even more. Maybe it's left over from when I lived in the Seattle area when it was like raining all the time. It rains a decent amount here. Not a lot, but Enough that I like having a hood because it's nice to throw on a jacket with a hood. And I don't know, a lot of my jackets, probably because I mostly wear denim jackets and moto jackets, don't have a hood. So when I can find something cute that I like that I can also layer under a denim jacket or something like that, love it. So this fit great in my arms, everything about it. I can button it if I want to. The color is really cute. It's a win. They've got such good jackets and jackets right now, you guys. The next thing I tried on is this cute little spooky... PJ set. How cute is this? I'm always surprised at like how tiny they make the tops. Maybe most people probably do not wear bras with their PJ tops. So that definitely makes sense why the top is a little bit, a little bit more snug than I would like it to be. But this whole thing is super duper stretchy. How cute are these little shorts? I'm obsessed. Um, they have different little spooky PJ sets. So if you're looking for one and you're not really into ghosts, they definitely have other ones for you. So cute. So cute. And I love getting them from Shein because they are super affordable. So it's nice to have like a little festive PJ set, but you don't have to really break the bank. And yeah, I love, I love, I love little ghosties. They're so cute. They're so cute. And I like how the um, bottom of the shorts have like a little bit of a ruffle too. All right, love. So the very last thing I tried on is this white dress. This I actually got in mind too. It was originally going to go in the spooky lookbook. Again, not everything that I wanted to go in there made it in there, but I definitely still want to go take some spooky pictures in this just because it feels so 
ghost-like. Like, I don't know. I just imagined, you know, I just imagined it. I have a vision. If you're looking for like a kind of Victorian ghosty type of dress for Halloween, I feel like this is a great one. You could always cover it in blood, something like that. Uh, but I just had a vision for it. So I decided to snag it when I saw it pop up when I was looking at dresses. So hopefully we'll have a spooky image probably on Instagram. Definitely follow me on Instagram if you are into this type of fashion because I really kind of go a little bit harder over there this time of year on like the spooky fashion all of October. So there's tons more to come, lots more I have planned to shoot. So if you're into it, definitely follow me there. It's just at Shannon underscore shortcake. All right, love. So that is everything for the Shein haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you are excited for spooky season like I am. We are officially in it. Yeah. Um, I think if you get your orders in quick, you probably can get some of this stuff early before the holiday. I was trying to get this. I just got this stuff the day before I shot the spooky look book and I just, you know, trying to get this out for you guys because such cute stuff. Anyway, super excited about it. I think that's everything. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Share it if you could. It does help me out so, so much. And please subscribe if you haven't already. We do upload videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 11 a.m. Pacific time right now. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna stop rambling because my brain's all over the place. So <laughs> I love you guys. I will talk to you soon. Okay, bye. Hi, you ready? <laughs> She's so cute. You, I wish they could see how you're sitting right now. She just like flops herself around and literally makes me hold like her lower back and sits like, I don't know, like this, with this being her butt. Does that make any sense at all? Like, hmm. anyway, hi, cutie pie. All right, so most of the time I usually do a <laughs> collar. I need to find my brain, you guys. What's new? Shannon's brain is gone? No way. My brain gone? Never. Um, all right, the little next, what? <laughs> words. You're so cute. If only I could have as beautiful of legs as you, you've got perfect little legs. You got perfect ones. Because you're supposed to not being aware wear what? Most people probably don't wear a bra with their t-shirt. What am I saying? Ugh. I'm trying to hold Luna and she's sliding and she's so cute and I'm so scatterbrained. Um, what is my hair? I'm sorry guys. I'm forever a mess. Forever, forever a mess. Um,